Hey, it's Monday night and it's time for you to get some football predictions and wine pairings from me. Now, tonight's game is the three and two Buffalo Bills versus the two and three New York Jets. One thing that's funny about that is that the Jets are only in second place. That's how bad their division is. The Bills are in first place. So honestly, if the Jets win tonight, they can tie the division and the Jets are hosting. The other thing that's interesting about tonight's game is their head coach was fired like on Monday or Tuesday of last week. So we'll see how that turns out. Now, historically, teams who have fired their coach usually go on to win the following game 43% of the time. And so tonight, I'm going to go with the Jets, even though they're mostly a garbage fire. Uh, I think they'll be able to win, and I think they'll be able to keep this same kind of tradition going of teams winning after their new head coach is fired. Also, Josh Allen just really hasn't looked that great this season. I don't really know what's going on with him. So, you know, he could be on. He's had a couple of games this season where he was on, and it was amazing. And he's had a couple of games where he was off, and he was terrible. Now for the most important part, the wine. It's now week six, and I have gone all this time without repping any of the wines that I represent. So tonight is the first night that I'm gonna talk about a wine that Amandus Wines carries. And that wine that we're carrying tonight is Clement Gustiani Naviolo de Alba, 2020. 2015, not 2020, 2015. And this is from the Piedmont region of Italy. And what you're going to see on this wine, Nebbiolo is a great wine that is an Italian grape that is one of my favorites for Italian grapes. And it can sometimes be light. Now, if you're looking at this, you might be thinking, hey, this looks kind of dark. But what's happening here is that it is kind of a medium uh, ruby color with some tawny brown edges. You know, so it's got like a really kind of interesting color. And then it is a medium body wine. And on the nose, you're getting the kind of things that you're used to getting from uh, Nebbiolo. You know, you're getting that dark fruit. So I'm talking plum and cherry and blackberry. You know, you're getting also a little bit of tobacco and leather. You know, you're just getting some richness there. And then on the tongue, You're getting that lush, lush mouthfeel with some medium acidity, you know, not too much tannins. So it could be a little dry for people who are not really into kind of a bigger red wine. This is kind of a medium red, but it has some parts that are similar to a big red. And then you're also getting that kind of a low level chocolate, you know, like a dark chocolate and I'm gonna say this and don't be turned off, but kind of a prune or Italian plums, which are used to make prunes, kind of a flavor at the same time. Now, the other thing that I wanna tell you about this wine, as with most European wines, you need to decant it beforehand. So I poured this glass out about 20 minutes before I started talking to you all. You know, you just wanna give it a chance to breathe and get some of the really more complex elements that'll come out when it's been exposed to the air. So to recap, go ahead and take the jets tonight. Go ahead and get yourself a bottle of this Clemente Gustante, Nabiolo de Alba, 2015. Contact me, you know, here in the comments and I will make sure that you can get a bottle because it is delicious. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, you should subscribe because I want you to come back here and share this time with me every week. Any comments you have, go ahead and drop them in. I'd love to answer them. I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.